Hi, hey, hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Shelly and today it's going to be a chaotic video as per usual. So, I am going to go through the 23 of 2023, um, the books that I intend to read. Last year, I believe it was about 51 books and uh, I was going to be happy if I'd read 22 of said books before the year's end. I think I read like 8 or 10, so I mean I failed that one. But it happens. <laughs> Moving on to 2023 though. Um, so I kind of picked 23. 23 standalones and or series. So there's more than 23 books, of course, because it's me. And I might actually hate myself a little bit. So instead of, you know, collecting all the books, I'm gonna like be mean to my editing self and make myself put up the pictures here instead because that's going to be a lot easier than having to collect all the books also because I'm lazy haha <laughs> I have a list um so we, we'll we'll see if this actually works or not so the first on the list it doesn't matter by the way which order I read them in it just I want to try to finish all of them this time, but yeah, now. So the first I have is Zenith and Nexus by Sasha Alsberg and Lindsay Cummings. So I've read Zenith uh, previously, but it's been a while. And I just recently, well, a year ago now, I got Nexus, which is the second and last book in that duology. So I figured to read that book, I might need to refresh my memory a bit of Zenith. So I figure we both both books and that will count as one yay <laughs> because why not and next up i have blade breaker by victoria aviard and that is the second book in the round breaker i'm pretty sure that's what it called series now i read round breaker i want to say last year but i think it was the year previously um so it's been like a year and a half maybe it's fine i don't think i need to reread it um as of but I have the second book now, so I'm going to put that on there, because why not? Why not? I don't know how many books uh, she intends to write in that series, but there may be another book this year. We shall see. Um, if there is, I will kind of maybe slot it down as a contender for, like, the third book in the series. I don't know how I'm going to do this, honestly. But this is... Um, how I have it so far and since I don't have my book journal yet, so I haven't like written it down Except for like this very messy sheet of paper It's fine We shall deal with that when that happens <laughs> now I do also want to have like some easy reads put in there So I've also put in the book that no one wanted to read by Richard A. Wade, which is a children's book I believe so Yay me! Um, I do want to find the audiobook for that as well though because I'm pretty sure he narrates that one himself and he has a very special kind of a voice and I'm going to hear his voice while reading and the book anyway so why not like simultaneously listen to him actually read it and read follow along in the book. Yeah! <laughs> so I'm going to have to work that one out but either way it's going to be an easy read. And then I have a book number two and number three in the, what's it called? The Folk of Air, the something along the line. The two books following The Cruel Prince by Holly Back, uh, which are The Wicked King and The Queen of Nothing. So I very recently read the first one, so I'm very eager to continue on with book number two and three, and hopefully those will be easy reads as well. Camera full on died on me there, so let's see if I remember where I left off because yeah, it would be too easy to actually go back on the footage. Uh, but um, yeah, I'll I'll add it on up if I'm missing something. So yeah, back to the chaotic list. Um, next up, we have a book of night, also by Holly Black. So. Um, I believe it's going to be a series, but also I don't know. It was very hyped up before uh, coming out, and then lots of people read it, and they were very disappointed. I have um, not really much knowledge of Hollyback's 
work as it works as it were so you know I'm just gonna read it and so far it's just the one book and it's not very thick so probably easy read hopefully and then I have Alone With You in the Ether by uh, Olivia Blake um, which I do believe is a standalone and from what I'm getting it's kind of a contemporary sort of a read but also not really I don't know uh, but it looks to be a very short book um, I think it's under 300 pages so Hey. And then also by Olivia Blake is uh, The Atlas Six and The Atlas Paradox. Now I do have The Atlas Paradox, but The Atlas Six will be uh, one of the books I'm gonna have to get uh, before reading said series. But I do think the third book in the series is gonna come out this year, so that might be added on to the list as well. We shall see, we shall see. Um, yeah, look, you know, I hit myself, obviously. And next up we have The City of Brass plus the two, uh, book number two and three, which I don't own, but I am about halfway through City of Brass, which technically I should have finished in November, but sh no, no, no judgment here um but yeah i am about halfway through so uh, i have half of that but i also want to read book two and three so i shall be having to get those um sometime this year if i want to you know actually finish this list so you know you know um we're vibing we're thriving and after that i have the land of stories which uh, are six books as far as I know, at least I have six books, and they are all by Chris Colfer, you know, the dude from Glee. <laughs> That's what I know him from. Um, I've been wanting to read these books for a while. I do believe they're like middle grade YA-ish, um, so I, I, I feel like I should be in for a good time. Um, so that's what I'm setting myself up for, you know, lots of books. Another um, easy read, I am presuming, is a Space Band by Tom Fletcher. Now, I love Tom Fletcher's books. Um, they're all a good time. So, I am assuming this one would be a good time as well. And also with some uh, wicked illustrations along the way. And I'm gonna have to figure out because apparently there's like music by McFly or sort of featuring McFly involved in the book. Um, I do feel like I'm kind of missing a CD or something, but, you know, might be, I haven't looked into this, so, you know, could be other ways around that. I don't know. I have seen something about it on Spotify, though, but we'll see, we'll see when we get to that. We'll see when we get to that. Next up after that is Once Upon a Broken Heart and The Ballad of Ever After by Stephanie Garber. I do believe the third book in that series comes out sometime this year. I kind of want to maybe reread uh, the Caraval series, which as far as I'm getting, the Once Upon a Broken Heart is kind of a prequel to the Caraval, but also maybe after I'm not sure but it's kind of that universe because it's at least following um one of the characters we meet in uh, the last two books I believe um so yeah um I might be rereading Caraval as well but we'll see we'll see we'll see I do want to get those books I don't have uh Once Upon a Bug at Heart yet but I do have the second book and I mean, the third book presumably comes out this year, so we'll be wanting to get that. There's a lot of books I'm going to have to get, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway. So, next up I have The Burning Kingdoms by Sally Green. Is that correct title? Because I feel like that's the one I just read. Anyway, it's the third book in the Smoke Thieves series. Um, so I read book number two last year, and I read the first one like the year before, I believe. I don't know. Don't don't quote me on these uh, time measurement things. Uh, but this is the third book, and I have started it. I think I've read like two, three chapters, so I'm not very far in. Um, but I do want to finish that one because that will be I've, that that would mean I would I I. I, I that would mean I've finished a series, so yay me! And, and then moving on to six sink <laughs> moving on to six crimson cranes and the dragon's promise, is that one? Yes, by 
Elizabeth Lim. Ha <laughs> um, <laughs> ha. Wow. Okay, so the only thing with this is I have the... I have... The Dragon's Promise and it's the hardback pastel -y cover and I want to get the Six Crimson Cranes in the hardback creme pastel -y cover. Um, so I'm going to have to do that. So first off, I'm going to have to find that book in said format and then I'm going to read it. I do believe it's a duology so it will only be those two books. Um, but yeah, excited about that whenever that happens. I mean, I'm excited about all the books, what am I saying? <laughs> Moving on to A Magic Steeped in Poison and then also A Venom Dark and Sweet. Now, I have the first one, but the second one hasn't arrived yet. It is on its way at some point. I don't know when. Um, but they seem to be like um, shortish books. And who wrote those? Is it Judy Island? I think that's the one. I'm, there's so many names, I'm getting confused, okay? And then I have a very chunky book, one I also have started and one that was out also actually on my 2022 list. But we're, 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 we're ignoring that fact. And it is A Court of Silver Flames by Sarah J Maas. Now it is currently the latest one in the Akatar series. So I want to finish that one and hopefully, hopefully House of Sky and Breath will come out in the right format for me. And I will be able to read that because apparently you're supposed to read A Court of Silver Flames before you read A House of Sky and Breath because it will make more sense to you. I don't know. I just want to read the book because it's a chunk of book and I've read all the other ones. So, I mean... I might as well. Also, yeah, I, I, yeah, I do want to read it. It's just not, I'm not forcing myself here. Or am I? No, I'm joking. I do want to read it. Right, we're getting on to the last couple of books. It's actually on page two, but who's counting? So next up is The Dance Tree by Kieran Millwood Hargrave. Is that the one, correct one? I keep saying her name wrong and... I'm pretty sure that was the correct one. Anyway, I believe it's semi-decently easy read. It looks very thin anyway. I have only read a one book by her previously and I don't remember what it was called. It was something with stars and girl made of I, something like that. I don't know. Uh, but I really enjoyed that one and ever since I've been wanting to read more books by her but I some reason haven't they've not been in my eyesight so i've been easily picked up but um yeah they're coming with me today <laughs> i'm reading them this year well some i have another book by her as well don't think that's on my list not not on this list it's i believe it's like a children's book but i don't know i don't know we'll see i'm just gonna read everything let's be honest and then once I I hope I hope I will actually be able to figure out how I'm gonna read these two books But it is replica and ringer by Lauren Oliver So you can either read them like back to front or you can read them one side and then switch through it because It's multiple ways to read these books and I'm not completely sure how I want to read these books yet, but I Will figure it out this year and I'm gonna read them because I've been wanting to read them for a very long time and I finally managed to actually get them. I mean, I think that was about two years ago, but who's counting? And now I just really need to figure out how to read them so I can read them. Why do you make this confusing for me, authors? Why? 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 Don't challenge me this way. Don't make me think to me. I'm joking. <laughs> it's a very interesting concept, though. So, um, yeah. That, that shall be very, very interesting. Next up is To Sleep in a Sea of Stars by Christopher Paolini. One book I started in February, February. I cannot say this month's name, but I don't know why right now, but we'll go with it. I started it February last year because it was a, the book up pick of the month. I never ended up finishing it, but that's fine. I do really, really want to finish it. And hopefully, hopefully, I will be able to do that very, very shortly. We'll see. We shall see. I kind of have a plan for it. So we shall see if I'm able to do said plan. 
but fingers crossed. Mm -hmm. And after that I have Ariadne by Jennifer Saints, a Greek mythology kind of a deal book and I am very excited to read it. I've been very excited for a long time to read it. It has a stunning cover and I love Greek mythology so I just need to pick it up. And then we have The Well of Ascension and The Hero of Ages by Brandon Sanderson, which is book number two and number three in the first era of Mistborn. I will have kinda completed a series once I finish those two. Also, I'm very, very excited to, um, to read them. I did start uh, The Well of Ascension on New Year's Eve because that's what we do. So I was left very excited after finishing The Final Empire, which is book number one in that series. Um, so I've been wanting to continue on because, yeah, it's a good time. Also, everyone's read these books by now. Not everyone, but a lot of people have read these books and they mean a lot to a lot of people. And apparently, I'm not sure if it's book one, book two or book three, but one of them, or maybe both of them, uh, will break me. So that shall be interesting. Maybe I should vlog this, by the way. Um, yeah, remind me about that later. <laughs> and uh, moving on to The Priory of the Orange Tree. Also a book I started in February last year. And uh, one I do hope to finish very soon. It's a very chunky book. And I didn't really get into the plot of it. Because there's so much happening and... Uh, so much happening. Too much for my brain. Uh, but I do really, really want to finish it because the, I believe it's the prequel to the series comes out now and I believe February as well. And I do have that pre-ordered. So maybe I should finish the first one before I move on to the prequel. Something like that. But yeah, no. And then we have Daughter of the Moon Goddess and Heart of the Sun Warrior. Now I have Heart of the Sun Warrior, but I don't have Daughter of the Moon Goddess. Of course I don't have book one. <laughs> um, by Sue Lin Tan, by the way. Yes. I need to get that first book and then I can read those. I do believe it's just a duology as well as a bunch of other book series I've mentioned in this video. But you know, you know. I'm very much looking forward to that. And for the very, very last book on this list, and if I have correct, and if I have counted correctly while I was making said list, this will be entry number 23 because um, we're, we're counting series as one and not multiple. So the last one is The Secret History by Donna Tartt. Also a book I've, have, I've already started. I didn't get very far. I sort of read it in tandem with Babel, Babel, Mini Baby Bells, whatever we want to call it. And it's kind of that same dark academia thing. Um, but it was it was a lot darker and a lot harder to get into uh, when I read it. So uh, Babel, 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 Mini Baby Bells, that one um, was a lot easier. So I just kind of put the secret history down and um, read the other one. But I don't want to finish it. Um, I am very interested to see how that actually ends. Um, we shall see. We shall see. It is kind of the like, what what's the the start of the dark academia phase? So that's at least what I keep hearing from people. Um, so we'll we'll see. I don't expect I will like it as well as Mini Baby Bells. That's not the name of the book, but I'm still calling it that. Um, but hopefully, it will still be um a good book. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> so, yes, uh, that was my very chaotic 23 of 2023 books. Or 2020... In 2020... Oh, one of the ones. Um, I'm just confusing myself. So, yes, that was my 23 in 2023 uh, books that I want to... That doesn't really make any sense. Anyway, uh, those were the 23 books <laughs> that I want to read in 2023. Uh, yeah, 
I, I obviously hate myself, but we're fine. We're fine. We're vibing. We're thriving. We're loving life, and we'll see if I actually accomplish this or not. I will say this. I do already have most on the of the books on this list. I did not have most of the books on the list on last year's list. Um, so I'm already off to a good start, I feel. Already off to a good start. Um, that doesn't mean I'm actually going to accomplish a said list, but who cares? It's all for fun. So yes, uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope this wasn't too weird, too chaotic, too all over the place. I'm sure it was, but I'll also thank you for watching anyway. Um, but yeah, until next time, take care. Bye-bye.